on mute, but if at any point in the practice you have a question or need something, feel free to jump off mute and just, just holler. Okay. From Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. Work your tailbone towards your heels, your heels up towards your tailbone, unroll your spine back down to the mat. And then gently roll your shoulder blades underneath you to open your palms to the sides. Take a moment just to allow yourself to feel this new opening in your hips, to feel the connection to this flat, cool space. Take an inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and softly release. Inhale, breathe in to expand the lungs and the rib cage and the diaphragm. And then open your mouth to softly release. For our third inhale, fill bigger, wider, and more full with light and buoyancy. And then intentionally compress the air all the way out. Inhale, fill all the way up through your nose. And this time, exhale through your nose. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Take one last inhale through your nose. One more big exhale through your nose. Open your arms behind you. Open your legs to the ends of your mats. Create a big X shape into your space. Spread the fingertips, point the toes. Take a big breath in. And exhale, draw your knees gently up into your chest. Give yourself a big embrace. Notice how your hip flexors are feeling. Maybe they're a little tight. Maybe you don't feel this much at all, and that's okay too. Circle your knees around. Find movement. And then when you're ready, begin to extend your legs gently up to the sky. Bring your palms to your sides and circle your legs around again. Again, notice your lower back connecting to the mat. Notice the shift of weight from one hip towards your sit bones up the other hip, even to your lower back. And then go the other direction. These don't have to be big circles. They don't necessarily have to involve a lot of core. Just noticing our back. Come to center, flex your toes to your nose, and gently lower your left heel down to the end of your mat as you engage the quad to draw your right toes back towards your forehead. As your left heel lowers down, hold your right knee into your chest, give it a squeeze. Take your right knee out towards the right armpit. Notice the opening in the groin. Now bring your right knee directly over your chest. Pull the right knee straight down into your chest. Notice the compression in your hip flexor. Take an inhale here. Now keeping both hips grounded, draw your right knee just gently across the center line of your body. Feel the outside of the right leg. You're still trying to keep the right hip grounded here. We haven't gone all the way to the supine twist yet. Just notice how this feels to feel the crossover in motion. Come back to center. Take a moment, draw your knee down. And then straighten the leg up. Point and flex your right foot three times. Notice your Achilles, engage the quad to lengthen the hamstring. Notice the top of your foot, circle the ankle around. And then go the other direction. Now with a straight leg, open your right leg to the side of your space. Notice again, the elongation, maybe of a more inner part of your hamstring, as well as the groin. Take your leg to center, pull it straight down over yourself. And then gently, keeping both hips grounded, Use your left hand to guide your right leg just across the body. Feel your IT band here. 
Take an inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Inhale, straighten the leg, pull it back towards your face. And exhale, fold your knee to your chest. Take a few circles around. Gently draw your left knee up to meet the right. Give them a squeeze. And now notice if there's a difference in your two legs. I mean, there always is. Hip flexors get super tight. Gently lift both legs up to the sky. Take a moment here. Come back to the lower back by gently just circling the legs around. Feeling that light decompression. Sometimes I feel like this is more effective at the end of the day when we've had a lot of weight in our lower back, but assuming most of us were sleeping. We'll just be gentle now. Inhale, lift the legs, flex the toes, and then gently place your hands behind the left leg. As you lower your right heel slowly down to the mat. And then fold your left knee into your chest. Give it a circle around. And the other direction. Keep the right leg long. Now use the left hand to guide the left knee wide. Feel the opening across the front of your hips into the left side of the groin. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring your knee back to center. Interlace your hands with the knee. Pull it directly down into your chest. Compressing the thigh into the rib cage. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, use your right hand to keep the left hip grounded, but guide the knee just slightly over the center line towards the right side of your body. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Come back to center. Knee folds into your chest, give it a squeeze, and then straighten the left leg up to the sky. Point and flex your toes a few times. Notice your hamstring engage the quad to lengthen the back of the leg. Circle the ankle around. Notice the toes, the shin. How's everything doing? And then gently use the left hand to guide a straight left leg wide. Again, notice how that feels in the groin, in the hamstring. Take an inhale, bring your leg to center, pull it straight down over your body. Try to keep the leg straight, not bending the knee. Big breath in, big breath out. Now use the right hand to guide a straight left leg just slightly over the body. Keep the toes flexed back to your face and feel the IT band here. Keep the left hip grounded, big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, bring your left knee back up to the sky. Give it a pull. And then fold your knee down into your chest. Give it a squeeze. Draw your right knee up to meet the left. Hug both knees in. Lift your nose to your knees. Wrap your arms as deeply as you can across the shins. Big squeeze of chest to thighs. And exhale, release your hands to your sides, heels in front of your sits bones. Lift your hips to the sky for our first bridge. Make sure that your chin is aligned over your belly button. Your inner thighs are engaged. It's as though you're intentionally squeezing something between your knees. Sometimes I like using my hands kind of as guides, as a reminder that my knees don't flay out, even just to lift a little higher. Take an inhale. Exhale gently. Unroll your hips back down slowly. Inhale. Take a moment to lift the legs up. Straighten the quads. Strengthen the quads to lengthen the hamstrings. And exhale, plant your feet back down. Inhale, lift your hips to the sky for bridge. Squeeze the inner thighs for five. Squeeze the inner thighs for four. Three, two, lift a little higher. Keep squeezing the inner thighs. And gently unroll back down. Now to lengthen the glutes and the back of the legs, inhale, lift your heels back up to the sky. Flex your toes to your nose. Engage the quads, lengthen the hamstrings. Exhale. Third bridge, plant your feet down, toes point forward, knees in line with your hips, lift your hips to the sky, squeeze your inner thighs for five, four, three, lift your hips higher, 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 shift the weight to the left foot, extend your right leg to the sky, cross your right ankle over the left thigh, press your right knee forward, and unroll your spine back down to the mat. Feel free here to take a moment to rock side to side. Keep your shoulders grounded, deep in the twist. And then when you're ready, come to center and draw your left thigh up into your chest, interlace your hands, 
on the back of the leg. A demi pointer, a full flex of the right foot, creating strong angles through the legs. Square shoulders, square hips, pull the knee to the chest. One more big breath in. One more big breath out, give it a squeeze. Inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, plant your left foot down into the mat. Active listening here. I want you to keep this triangular shape through the right leg and then let your right foot fall over to the left side of your mat. Try to keep your right knee pointed up or even fold it over across the left leg or the bottom leg. You can bring your arms up to your sides. You can bring your arms behind your head. Try to think about the opening in front of the hips. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Keep pressing the right knee down. One more inhale. One more exhale. Jenny, come back to center. Hands to your sides. Take a moment to extend the right leg up. And then plant the right foot back down beside the left. Final bridge, inhale, lift your hips to the sky, engage the inner thighs, engage the back of the legs, press down through the palms, hold for five, four, three, two, squeeze one more time, lift the left leg up to the sky, flex your toes to your nose, press the left ankle over the right thigh, press your left knee forward, and then gently unroll your spine back down. Take a moment here. Let your knees rock side to side, a gentle opening in your hips. Let the lower back really decompress, so it's truly a fall. You're letting the muscles go in order to experience the pull of gravity. And then when you're ready, come to center. Draw your right knee up into your chest, interlace your hands behind the right thigh, flex your toes, and press the left knee forward as you pull the left ankle in with the right thigh. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Maybe you can use the left elbow to assist in the press open in the left knee. Deep breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. Pull the knee to the chest, give it a squeeze. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale, plant the left, or sorry, right foot down. And then let your left foot fall over to the right side of your mat. Taking it on the other side. If you need to work your right ankle a little higher on the thigh in order to feel the stretch and the pull, then feel free to use your right hand as an assist. Your left hand can extend and come behind your head. Try to keep both shoulders grounded on open square chest and open square hips, even though that left knee is maybe slightly lifted. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, and then exhale, focus on that long side body. One more inhale, one more exhale. Gently roll back to center, plant your foot down, extend the left leg up, give it that lengthening stretch, and exhale, plant the left foot down. Hug both knees into your chest, lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose, squeeze tight, and exhale, find a happy baby reach for the bottoms of your feet. A little rock side to side again. Notice your hamstrings. Notice your hips. How does it feel with a bent leg? When you compress the knees to the armpits, really pulling the feet down. How does it feel with the straight leg? More like a straddle. Take one more inhale wherever you are. And exhale gently. Fold your knees back into your chest. Begin to rock and roll forward and back. When you're ready... I invite you to rock forward, cross your ankles, plant your palms, and then step up or float your feet to the back of the mat, high plank. Hold here for an inhale and an exhale. Lengthen the spine, drop your hips one inch. Inhale, pull the belly up and exhale. One more inhale, lift the chin off your chest if it's dropped, and exhale, spiral the elbow tips in. Slowly lower for a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, all the way down for one. Untuck your toes, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, lift up for cobra, squeeze the elbow tips in tight, roll the shoulders down your back, create length in the sides of your neck, and gently drop your ear from shoulder to shoulder. 
Feel lengthening. Keep drawing the shoulders down as your ear softly reaches down. Inhale, come to center, lift the heart. Exhale, little twist to the left. Look back towards your left ankle. Inhale, come back to center, lift the heart. Exhale, little twist to the right. Look back to the right ankle. Inhale, come to center, lift the heart. Lift the chin and down the arm roll. Bring your hands back a few inches and press up to a tabletop, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Take a few circles around. Let your head go. Feel your shoulder joints move. Your circle is bigger than your base, so you're moving in front of the wrists and you're moving behind the knees. Take one more in this direction. Come to center. Try to flatten the back out and then tap your chin down. Inhale, come up, back to tabletop, and then circle the other direction. These are big circles. Feel your shoulders, feel your hips. If you want to linger anywhere, feel free to linger all the way around. Your palms are long and flat and firm. Take one more big circle all the way around. Shift the weight forward, flatten the spine, pull the belly up and then tap your chin down on the mat. Inhale all the way back up to tabletop. Drop the belly button, lift the crown of the head. Stargazing properly, open it up here. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. Tuck your right palm under, fingertips point towards your body. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head. So one hand is pointed back, palm up, one hand is grounded as per usual. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. Reverse that palm, fingertips point towards you and palm faces down. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head open. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. Now release that arm, inhale, extend the right arm up to the sky. Sweep the right arm underneath you. Gently lower down onto the right shoulder. Option to extend the left fingertips forward. Option to take your left fingertips around your lower back. Take an inhale here. Option to extend your left toes to the back of the mat. Option to challenge your balance by lifting the leg. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently reground the toes, reground your knee, reground your left palm. Inhale, sweep your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, take your right palm down, tabletop. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head. One with both palms grounded normally. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. Tuck the left palm, facing up, fingertips towards you. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. This time, rotate the fingertips towards you, palms down. Last one, inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head up. Keep the right elbow tip pulled back. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, spine, release that left arm, inhale, reach it up to the sky, and exhale, slide your left fingertips underneath your right shoulder, option to walk your right fingers forward, or take your right arm around your lower back, maybe you go for the bind, option to extend the right toes to the back of your mat, option to even hover the right toes off the mat, for a count of five, four, Three, two, lift, and then gently lower. Right toes ground, right knee ground, right fingertips reach around, and it plants. Inhale, left arm sweeps up. Exhale, left hand comes down. Free choice with your hands here. Drop the belly, lift the crown of the head, open the heart. Exhale, press the knee, chin to chest, belly to spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. One more, inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head up. And exhale, chin to chest, belly to spine. Reground your palms, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Pedal your feet side to side. Let your hips shift side to side. Give your head a gentle shake. Yes and no. 
Adjust your yoga pants if you need. Notice your toes, notice your ankles. Notice each leg, both separately. How is your left leg feeling? And how is the right leg feeling? And then notice the legs together. How will they share this space? Take an inhale through your nose. Engage your quads to lower the heels more intentionally down. Inhale, lift to the tips of your toes. Bend your knees and gently step, hop, or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, find a nice long halfway lift. Press against the shins to lengthen the spine. Draw the shoulders back and down. And then soft the knees as you forward fold. Feel the torso drape over the thighs. Give your head a heavy shake. Yes. And no. Maybe circle the head around. Maybe you even take a moment to reach your hands for the nape of your neck and draw the weight down through the crown. Take an inhale. Gently release wherever you are. Halfway lift, flatten the spine, pull the tailbone back, and exhale, soft forward fold, let it go. Gently root to rise, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky, stacking knees over ankles, hips over knees. Lift your gaze up, heart up, connect the palms, and then on your exhale, draw your shoulder blades together and your hands to heart center. Take an inhale through your nose. One exhale through your mouth. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Grab your left wrist and lean to the right side of your mat. Inhale, rise up, stack shoulders over hips. Exhale, switch hands and lean to the left. Inhale, rise up, lift your heart, reach backwards. And exhale, soften, flat back, forward fold, let the head drop all the way down. Inhale, halfway the flat back. Exhale, ground your palms. Step hop or float your feet to the back of the mat. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Cobra or upward facing dog. If it's up dog, your quads and hips are lifted. Elbows do stay micro bent and rotated back. Inhale, drop the shoulders, lift the chin. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips. Big inhale. Big exhale. Engage the quads to lower the heels. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. One more inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Step the right foot through. Gently lower the left knee down. Untuck your left toes. Inhale, rise up for kneeling crescent. Holding here for three breaths. Your hands can be on your thighs. As you adjust into it, your arms can be in the air. You can even take your arms behind the nape of your neck as you open your heart. Take an inhale here, and an exhale. Inhale, and an exhale, sink the hips. One more inhale, really reach back, and exhale, sweep the fingertips down. Find a half split, sink the tailbone back and down. Big inhale, big exhale, big inhale. Drop the forehead, one more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale, shift forward to the right foot. Exhale, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee, ground the left palm, easy twist. Big inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, ground the right palm, right foot steps back. High plank, chaturanga lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to your nose. One more left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step the left foot through. Lower the right knee down. Untuck the right toes. Kneeling crescent. Your favorite variation. Take a moment. Give yourself one good exhale before moving the arms into your fullest expression. So maybe you consider the interlace behind your head. It can be different on both sides. Keep the base sinking low, heart lifting high. Take an inhale and an exhale. 
one more inhale, reach back, open one, and on your exhale, sweep the fingertips down and pull the hips back for half splits. Big inhale, and exhale, drop the forehead. Inhale, and exhale. One more inhale. One more big exhale. Inhale, travel forward into the left foot print. Lengthen the spine, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, ground the right palm, easy twist. Inhale, look up, gaze up, twist open. Exhale, ground the left palm, left foot steps back, chaturanga lower down. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step up or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, soften the knees. Let the head go, give it a shake, yes. And no. Active listening, you're gonna walk your fingertips out in front of you. Without lifting your heels, I want you to feel the weight shift forward. So your hips are no longer behind your heels. They're now stuck directly over your heels. Your weight is just slightly forward. Reach forward in the fingertips, inhale. Exhale, walk your hands around to the left. I want you to bend the right knee and really straighten the left leg to feel the left IT band. Big breath in. Drop the head. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, start to straighten the legs as you walk your fingertips back up in front of you. Weight is more in the balls of the feet than the heels, so the heels are still grounded. Exhale, walk your hands around to the right side of your mat. Bend the left knee. Inhale, drop the head on the exhale. Really reach in the fingertips. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back out in front of you. Straighten the legs. Inhale, really reach for it. Pull the belly off the thighs. And exhale, soften the knees. Come back to your forward fold. Again, don't let the knees play out or the weight shift to the outsides of your feet. Press down into the ball mounds of your big toes. Root to rise, sweep your arms up to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, grab the right wrist first and lean to the left. Inhale, rise up tall. Exhale, grab the left wrist and lean to the right. Use the obliques and lengthen the obliques. Inhale, rise up tall, reach back with the heart. And exhale, flat back, forward fold, take it all the way down, drop the head. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, ground your palms. Step up or float your feet to the back of the mat. Chaturanga lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. This one is subtly different. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips. I suppose that's not that subtle. That's quite different than what we just did. Give it a little circle. And then go the opposite direction. Keep drawing your left heel down towards the earth. Inhale, lift your right knee up. Bring your right knee to the outside of the right tricep. Step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Lower the left knee down, untuck the left toes, bring your right hand to your right inner thigh and press the knee open as you twist to the right side of your mat. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale, drop the left ear down. Inhale, circle the right arm around, reach back to the back of your mat. And then circle it back around to the top of your mat. Take it into a wide variation of half splits here. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale. And exhale, forearms around the inside of your right leg. Take one more inhale. One more exhale, active listening. Transition forward into the right foot. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. Pivot the right toes out just slightly. And then you're gonna step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Buddha sweat, sink the hips down. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, drop the tailbone. I don't know that that was that subtle of a difference. It was a pretty stark difference. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gently ground the palms. Lift the hips. Hop the feet back. Chaturanga, lower down. Upward facing dog or cobra. And downward facing dog, take it up and back. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift the left leg. Notice the square hips as you rise. And now bend the knees, stack the hips. Notice the open hips here. Circle the knee around. And go the other direction. 
Inhale, lift the knee high. Left knee comes to the outside of the left tricep, high and tight. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lower the right knee down. Untuck the right toes. Hands are still underneath your shoulders. Bring the left hand to the left inner thigh. Press the knee open. Let the right ear drop. Take an inhale. And an exhale, sink into it, twist into it. Circle the left arm around. Reach for the back of the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades. And then circle the left arm all the way back up, around, round the palm, ground the foot pin, tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee. Nope. Shift the weight back, wide half splits, lower the forearms down, big breath in, big breath out, big breath in, big breath out. Even my subconscious is like, hamstrings are too hard today, don't do them. Take one more inhale. Take one more exhale. Now shift forward into that left foot print. Toes angle just slightly out. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, and then when you're ready, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Buddha squat, drop the tailbone, lift the heart. Big inhale. Big exhale. Big inhale. Exhale, ground the palms, lift the hips a little bit, and hop the feet back, high plank. Upward facing dog, lift your heart. Downward facing dog, take it up and back. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale to your toes, exhale, bend your knees. Step up or float the feet forward, halfway lift, flat back. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, root to rise, sweep your arms up to the sky, lifting your heart up. Hips press forward, strong quads. Utkatasana, low chair pose. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale. And an exhale. One inhale. Forward fold, let it go. Half the lift, flat back. Exhale, ground your palms. Step or hop the feet back, high plank. Chat around the lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee taps, right tricep. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee taps, right tricep. Make the connection, really make the touch. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step the right foot through. Pivot the left heel down. Warrior one, rise up. Big breath in. Cactus the arms. Interlace your hands. Press the knuckles back. Lift the heart up. Lift the chin. Really make it full. And then lengthen your torso forward. To the right inner thigh, drop the crown of the head down. Sink the hips. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Release your hands. Square the hips. Reach your fingertips forward. Inhale. Straighten the right leg on your exhale. Hold for an inhale. Hold for your exhale. Rise all the way up. Inhale. And exhale, sink down into your warrior one and cactus the arms. Inhale, straighten the leg, lift up, straighten the arms. Exhale, sink down, bend knee, bend arms. One more time. Inhale, rise up, lift up. Exhale, sink down, squeeze the triceps, squeeze the back. Inhale, straighten just the arms. Exhale, ground your palms. Right foot steps back, maybe it hovers as you lower it down. Upward facing dog, lift your heart. Downward facing dog, take it up and back. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, left leg lifts. Square hips, left knee, left tricep, shift forward. Inhale, lift to the sky. Left knee, right tricep, make the connection. There it is. Inhale, lift to the sky. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step the left foot all the way through. Pivot the right heel down. Warrior one, rise up. Big breath in. Practice your arms, interlace your hands, open your chest, really reach, big inhale, forward fold, humble warrior, feel the crown of the head drop, your hips sink low, feel the underside of your left thigh, big inhale, big exhale, one more inhale, exhale and release your arms, square the hips, so press that right hip forward, reach your fingertips forward, Inhale for the straight arms. Exhale for the straight legs. Inhale, rise all the way up. 
Exhale, cactus the arms and lunge into the left knee. That's one. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift the arms, and gaze comes up. Exhale, sink, that's two. Inhale, straight and strong. Exhale, pull, squeeze the elbows in for three. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, cactus the arms, stay low in the legs. Straighten just the arms, inhale. Exhale, ground your palms. Left foot steps back. Maybe it hovers, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step up or float your feet forward. Halfway lift, flatten the spine. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, root to rise. Sweep your arms up to the sky, lift tall. Exhale, hands to heart center, Utkatasana. Palm to palm press. A straight line with your forearms across the center of the body. Lift your heart to your thumbs. Pull the belly button in, drop the tailbone down. Inhale here, lift your heart. And exhale, twist to the left. Hook that right tricep again from the straight line across the forearms. Inhale, open your wings. Exhale, reconnect your palms. Inhale, thumbs to heart center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, open your wings. Exhale, reconnect your palms. Inhale, thumbs to heart center. Exhale, sink your hips. Lift to the balls of your feet. Kill your heels off the mat. Lift your chest. Hold for five. Can you extend the arms for four? Lift the chest for three. Lift the chin for two. One more big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, ground your palms. Step or half the feet back, lower down. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Right leg lifts. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Circle it around. Flip your dog over. Inhale, hips and heart to the sky. Big reach overhead. Exhale, take it back around. Three leg down dog, right leg lifts. Maybe walk your hands up a couple inches. Right knee taps, right tricep, create a shelf. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Right knee comes to left tricep. Extend the right leg to the left side of the mat. Fall in star, lift the left arm. Big inhale, big reach. Exhale, circle the left hand around and down. Inhale, right leg threads up and through. Exhale, knee to your nose, step the right foot forward. Crescent warrior, rise up. Big inhale here. Grab the left wrist and lean to the right side of your space. Feel that right hip flexor opening. Inhale, rise up tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift your heart to your thumbs. Exhale, hook the left tricep on the outside of the right thigh. Big twist. Lengthen from the crown to the tailbone. Hold for an inhale. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, open your wings. Exhale, reconnect your palms. Inhale, arms to the sky, crescent warrior. Exhale, warrior two, pivot around. Roll your shoulders down your back. Big breath in. Sink into a big breath out. Inhale, straighten your arms, lift up, pull back slightly. Exhale, warrior two, lunge deep into it. Inhale, rise up, pull back, straight legs. Exhale, lunge into it for two. One more, inhale, rise up, straighten the leg, pull back. Lunge into it for three. Hold for the inhale, extended side angle. Big inhale, big exhale, stack the shoulders. Maybe lower your right fingertips down. Lengthen the left arm, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, lift the chin, and exhale, sweep it low, and slow to the back of your mat, skandasana, hands to prayer. Or feel free to take that open arm extension. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Come back up to sitting tall, and then exhale, travel low and slow. Back to the top of your mat, pivot around. Easy twist, lift that right arm to the sky. Pivot to the blade edges of your feet, getting into the outside of the hip here. Hold for the inhale, hold for the exhale. Inhale, take it up and around. Active lifting on your exhale, you're gonna pull back into the Y pyramid pose. Fold your forehead to your shin, deep breath in, big breath out. Lunge forward, 
Easy twist. Peel to the blade edges of your feet. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, rise up. One more time, ground the fingertips. Pull it back, wide pyramid. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, shift forward into the right foot. Step the right foot back, maybe it kicks to the sky. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Upward facing dog, lift your heart. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips. A little circle, maybe a flip flop all the way over, hips and heart to the sky. Big reach overhead, inhale. Exhale, take it back around. Inhale, left leg threads up. Create the shelf, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, back to the sky. Left knee to the right tricep. Extend the left leg. Lift the right arm, lift the hips and heart. Big inhale. Exhale, circle the right hand around and down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot steps through. Crescent warrior, rise up. Big inhale here. Exhale, grab the right wrist with the left hand and lean to the left. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift your heart to your thumbs. And exhale, take the right tricep. Hook it around the outside of the left thigh. Press palms to heart center. Lift the back of the right knee. Inhale, open your wings. Exhale, hands back together. Inhale, arms to the sky, press a warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Take a moment, check your alignment. Big inhale, sink deep into it. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach back, big pull. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise up, straighten the leg, big pull. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale, rise up, big pull back. And exhale, warrior two. Hold for the inhale. Forearm to thigh. Extended side angle. Stack the shoulders. Big breath in. Option to drop the left fingertips. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. So you're gonna cross your body. Transition to the back of your mat. Skandasana. Hands can come to heart center. You can extend your arms open. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Gently release your arm Bind. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, travel slow and blow back to the top of your mat. Easy twist. Lift the left arm. Exhale, pivot to the blade edges of your feet. Hold for the inhale. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, rise up. Ground the left fingertips, pull it back, bring your forehead to your shin, wide pyramid, inhale, exhale. Inhale, shift forward, easy twist, blade edges of the feet, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, rise up, last one, ground the palm, pull it back, forehead to shin, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, shift the weight forward into the left foot. Ground the palms, step the left foot back. Maybe it kicks to the sky as you chaturanga, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step hop or float your feet forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. Root to rise. Utkatasana, hands to prayer, sit it down. Deep breath in. Last sun salutation. Hook the right tricep on the outside of the left thigh. Big twist. Press weight down into the left footprint. Flamingo the right toes. Extend the right foot back and then step the right foot back. Find that revolved lunge. Open your wings. Hold here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Now stay twisted. Rise up, open the arms, big breath in, big twist out. Reach back, lift the right arm up, big inhale, big exhale, sink a little deeper, inhale, rise up, 
Exhale, come to easy twist. Ground the right palm, lift the left fingertips, big breath in. Exhale, ground the left palm, standing split. Inhale, right leg lifts. Challenge here to handstand hop for five. And four. And three. And two. And one. One more inhale, standing to lift, lift that right leg up. Step the right foot to the back of your mat. And then tuck the right knee underneath the left knee, come into a cross-legged seat. Whew. I do not love handstand hops, y'all. But that is why I must do them. Arms to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the left. Sit up tall. Shift your gaze back. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, shift back. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, walk your fingertips forward. Leaning into your thigh with your chest. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up, sit tall. Now circle your arms all the way around to the right, but on the back side of the mat, maybe the long side of the mat. We're pivoting around to a wide leg forward fold. Ooh, lunge side to side, loosen up those hips. Shake them out, shimmy them out, whatever feels good to you. A little lunge side to side, a wobble in the head. Maybe you ground the palms and practice grounding the crown, setting up for that inversion practice. Maybe you go for your inversion. This is your time. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, walk your arms out in front of you, find a halfway lift. Bring your arms out to a strong T, engage the core. Slowly, with back muscles and shoulder blades squeezed in, rise all the way up. Pivot the heels in, hands to heart center, god or goddess squat. Big breath in. It's actually god or goddess pose, but it looks like a squat to me, so I'm just going to call it a squat. Inhale, lift your right heel off the mat. Exhale, plant your right heel back down. Inhale, lift your left heel off the mat. Exhale, plant the left heel back down. Inhale, lift both heels off the mat. Sink the hips down. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently lower your heels. Inhale, rise all the way up. Star pose. Pivot towards the top of your mat. Hands to your hips. Fold forward for a pyramid pose. You can ground the palms, maybe on blocks. Adjust the feet so they're pointing forward. I like actually pulling my left toes off the mat to feel that whole hamstring stretch down the back of the left hip. Take an inhale. Drop forehead to shin. Ground into the right palm. Lift your left arm to the sky. Take an inhale here. Engage the right quad to press the right heel down. One more inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, gently draw the right fingertips down. Move through standing splits one more time. Lift your right leg up. Step your right foot beside the left. Root to rise. Arms up, heart high. Root the toss and hands to prayer. That's the best slash worst part about taking a sun salutation from the top of the mat directly to one side is that we've got one pole on the other side from Utkatasana. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hook that left tricep. Press your palms together. Press the weight down into the right foot. Flamingo, the left toes off the mat. So kick your own booty before shooting the left leg back. Stepping it to the back of your mat. Again, rotate the chest open. Open your wings. Hold for the inhale. Hold for the exhale. Leading with the right fingertips. Rise up, stay revolved. Exhale, big twist. Inhale. Exhale, reach back as you lift the left fingertips up. Sink down on the hips, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, easy twist, ground the left palm. Lift the right arm, take a big breath in. 
Yes, thank you, Molly. Standing split. Circle around, ground the right palm, lift the left leg. It's the handstand hops. I'm subconsciously trying not to have to do them for five and four and three and two and one. Come to standing split, lift that left leg up. Big breath in, big breath out, drop the forehead down. Inhale, lift the left leg up, all the way up and around. Nope. No, that's not what we did. Circle around, tuck the left knee under, come into that cross legged seat. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Having a whole brain melt. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, big twist. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, big twist. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, walk it forward, pressing your chest to your thighs. Deep breath in and out. And in and out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, pivot your arms around to face the long side of your mat for that wide leg forward fold. Take it around a little lunge side to side. Drop the crown of the head down. Reach for the back of your calves. Give your heart a pull through. Take an inhale and an exhale. Halfway lift, flat in the back. Arms to a strong T. Squeeze the shoulder blades in. Rise all the way up. Pivot your heels in. Hands to heart center, God or goddess. Seat, pose. Inhale, lift your left heel off the mat. Exhale, set your left heel down. Inhale, lift your right heel off the mat. Exhale, set your right heel down. Inhale, lift both heels off the mat. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently lower your heels. Inhale, reach up, star pose, and then pivot around to the top of your mat. Hands to your hips. Forward fold into that pyramid pose. Drawing the fingertips down, maybe to blocks if you've got them. Pulling back in the right hip. Deep breath in. Big breath out, drop the forehead. Big breath in. Big breath out, drop the forehead. Inhale, find a nice long halfway lift. Exhale, ground the left palm. Reach the right arm to the sky. Feel the opening across the chest. Up through the right hip, keep drawing the left heel down. Inhale here. Exhale, gently re-ground the right fingertips. Standing splits, lift the left leg up, big inhale. Exhale, step the left foot off beside the right. Halfway lift that back. Forward fold, let it go. Root to rise, keep your arms all the way up to the sky. Stack the hips, stack the shoulders. And exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to take one bouncing pose today of tree. You can be whatever kind of tree you want to be. So if you want to extend your leg, if you want to bind your arms, this is your favorite variation, wherever that looks like. We'll start with the right leg lifted. So ground your feet on the mat. Gently shift the weight into the left footprint. And when you're ready, lift the right foot to your ankle, your calf, or all the way up into your hip flexor. When you're ready, you can bend with hands in the heart center. You can lift your arms to the sky or you can take some other variation of your choice. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale and an exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your fingertips, lift your chin. Exhale, reconnect your fingers, close your palms, bring your hands to heart center, release your foot, shake it out. 
Allow that foot to release, maybe a little twist in the back. And then gently set your feet back down, planting evenly. And then shift your weight to the right foot before lifting your left foot to your ankle, your calf, or up into your hip crease. Press foot to leg and leg back to foot. Bring hands to heart center. And when you're ready, find your fullest expression of tree. Big breath in and out and in and out inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more inhale lift up exhale reconnect your fingertips reconnect your palms Bring your hands to heart center and gently release. Shake it out. Let it go. Step to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Take a big heart opening inhale. Lift it up and exhale forward fold. Let the head go. Halfway lift flat back. Lift to the tips of your toes. Option to take a crow pose on your way down or a toe stand before making your way all the way down to your spine. Tie your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze and then circle the knees around in opposite directions. Big breath in, squeeze the knees into your chest and exhale, release your left heel to the end of your mat, hug the right knee in. Circle the knee around and then open the right knee wide. If you're craving more hamstring, feel free to straighten out the right leg before we take our supine twist. Big inhale here and exhale. Guide your right leg over your body to the left side of your mat. Stack hip over hip. Ground your shoulders down. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. One more big exhale. Gently come back around to center. Hug your right knee into your chest. Give it a squeeze. And draw your left knee up to meet the right. Inhale, hug your knees to your nose and your nose to your knees. Exhale, release and extend your right heel to the end of your mat. Circle the left knee around. Find a little movement. Open the left knee wide. Again, option to straighten the left leg if that feels good in your body. Take a big breath in. Exhale, guide the left knee up and over for that supine twist. Extend the left arm. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Circle the wheel thumb around, catch your knee, bring your knee to your chest, give it a squeeze, draw the right knee up to meet the left. Lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose, take a big breath in. On your exhale, ground your heels in front of your sits bones, bring your hands either down to your sides or up to your ears. For a heart opening back bend, we'll take two. I'm gonna start with bridge and then go to wheel. If you're ready for two of either, feel free to go there. Lift your hips and heart to the sky. Wrap your shoulder blades down your back, interlace your hands, wrap the triceps underneath you. Inhale and exhale, squeeze the triceps, inhale, press the wrist down, exhale. One more inhale, gently unroll all the way back down to your mat. Take a moment here to reset, inhale, lift your legs to the sky, exhale, fold your knees to your chest. Plant your heels in front of your sits bones. Hands either come to your sides or up to your ears for full wheel. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, press down to lift up. Three breaths. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Try to straighten your arms. Try to press the wrist down. One more big inhale, lifting the hip bones. And exhale, tuck the chin. Slowly, gently unroll all the way back down to your mat. To reverse, lift your heels up to the sky. 
Hug your knees to your chest. I'm going to cue a happy baby here, but if you're cueing a, or if you're craving a shoulder stand, feel free to take this legs up the wall into a shoulder stand or legs up the wall to happy baby, whatever serves you well to close out your practice. A little rock side to side, decompression the lower back. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Gently start to reground, fold your knees into your chest, lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose. Take a deep breath in, fill all the way up. Open your mouth and gently let it go. Bring your arms out to your sides, roll your shoulder blades down your back. Feel free if you've got them to place pillows underneath your knees or even to keep a bent knee in Shavasana to help Allow our lower back to connect more deeply to the space. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take one more inhale. And a big sigh out. Take a soft inhale and then a deep release physically into your space, mentally into this moment. Find a gentle movement in your toes. Find a gentle movement in your fingertips. When you're ready, a gentle movement in your head and neck. Reach your arms behind you. Reach your toes in front of you. Tighten every muscle in your body to take a big lengthening inhale. And exhale, let it go. Draw your knees one by one up into your chest. Give yourself a loving embrace. And then gently rock side to side. Or if it serves you better, forward and back. Gently making your way up to any comfortable seat. Roll your shoulders down your back. Give your head a nice circle around clockwise and counterclockwise. Roll your shoulders down, lift your arms up for a big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. One final inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Thank you for sharing your light, your love, your practice, and your patience with me this morning. 
The light within me is just a reflection of the light that shines out from within each of you. Namaste.